Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? It's your boy JB, Trap House Boxing, back in with another video. Shouts out to the whole LDBC. Y'all smash that like, subscribe button, and share the video. I always leave thoughts and comments at the end of the video. If you're looking for exclusive street news, you already know where to go. Go subscribe to Urban Media Fix. Also, tune in to OG Boxing Talk every Sunday, 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Fanon International Boxing Channel. All righty. I want to talk a little bit of Mikey Garcia and Jesse Vargas. We all know that Mikey Garcia got the uh, the the, uh, the zone deal. The, uh, I guess it was a one fight deal, whatever the case may be. And he went over there and he fought uh, Jesse Vargas at this uh, last loss to Earl Spence Jr., which been a little while ago. And you know, Mikey comes off of a. Uh, a thrashing from Earl Spence Jr. and gets the paycheck of his life with the zone, you know, ironically, you know, but uh, whatever, whatever, man, that's Mikey's business. But I, I, I just want to uh, get my little take on this whole fight and all, you know, and, and we're going to dig a little further into some more things with the uh, whole Mikey and Jesse Vargas thing. But, but as you can see, uh, these two guys, been in the game for a while, know each other real good, you know, have some type of little, you know, some type of camaraderie. I ain't going to say, you know, all the way, but Jesse is the type of guy, he'll stand off on his, on his own. I, I don't know who Jesse really, really is cool with, you know, in the boxing world. You know, I always see Jesse, you know, come and go with people, but. And not not saying it in the bad way, but um anyway, I, I think this fight, I think this fight is a is a good fight for uh Mikey though, you know, vice versa, you know, I th I think this fight will be a bloodbath to be honest with you. My uh my whole reservations about the fight is that, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing seeing Jesse Vargas win. But the thing is, is Jesse Vargas going to give us a good first half of the fight. I can pretty much believe that and count on Jesse Vargas going to give us a good five, six rounds of the fight. Now, you, you know, I don't know where the other half is going to go. Because Jesse Vargas does uh, slow down the second half of the fight. And um, I'm just, I'm just curious to see how... You know how how is he gonna is he gonna be able to just adapt to Mikey's you know power all night, and and this the thing. See, I don't I don't know how Mikey power is at one forty seven. You know everybody always says power is power, but I don't know how it is at one forty seven. And Mikey only fighting at one forty seven again. He says to to prove to people that he can fight at one forty seven because you know what happened at one forty seven with Earl Spence. So. That right there puts the uh makes me think that 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 uh either Mikey gonna uh stick around the campaign at one forty seven until he get his ass whooped again or he's gonna uh you know maneuver around after this after this fight and then lobby down to one forty and one thirty five and just, you know, keep hopping around, you know, different weight divisions. I mean, because to be honest with you, I mean, I know, you know, um, they keep comparing the Earl Spence fight at 147. But to me, I don't I'm not, I don't know if I'm sold on Mikey at 147 yet. You know, I mean, what happens if he get done like that again? You know what I mean? Then what? They're going to say, go, everybody going to say Mikey overrated. I think Mikey is a good fighter. But I, I don't know how I really feel about him at 147, man. Um, I just don't think that he a top dog at 147. I don't believe that. You know, everybody keeps saying he could punch hard and all the other stuff. But I just think that these guys at 147 is just a little too big for him. I thought he struggled. I thought he struggled with uh, – he didn't really struggle with Lippinets, but he couldn't get Lippinets out of there. And and that's no disrespect to Lippinets. Lippinets is a, a tough game fighter. You know what I mean? But I just seen the, the, the weight the weight issue I think that that uh stopped Mikey from doing what he really had to do. I don't think his 
but it's power carries all the way up to just get these bigger guys out of there like that. You know, um, but like I said, this is going to be a good fight. You know what I mean? I think that uh, Mikey Garcia is going to win. I, I, it's sad to say, I think that, that Jesse Vargas is going to hold a better account of himself than what a lot of people think. You know, I think it's going to be closer than what people think. But I think that due to, uh, you know, Mikey, you know, getting this big old paycheck going over there to the zone, man, and all that, I just can't see that they giving uh, Jesse Vargas the nod in this fight. You know, regardless of what you think, Jesse Vargas about to knock Mikey Garcia down a whole bunch of times in this fight to get the uh, to get the nod. You know, truth be told, or to get the knockout, and, and I don't think that Jesse Vargas gonna be able to just outbox Mikey Garcia either. I think he'll be able to let his hands go and make it a good, you know, back and forth thing. But I don't know, man. It'd be inter interesting to see if Mikey can uh, make Jesse put his hands in his pocket and, and, and counter, counter Jesse all night and make him second guess himself. But I don't know. I doubt it because Jesse, Jesse will let his hands go. But like I said in the second half of the fight, he will, you know, slow down. But we don't know if it's going to be from countering or his fatigue. We're going to find out. But the thing is this. Now, I got a feeling that, and I had been saying this, that that uh, Mikey is, is going to fuck around and get the get a, uh, the Manny Pacquiao fight. I, tr I don't know why. I truly, truly believe this. But I believe that that Mikey is going to probably uh, get the the Manny Pacquiao fight before Earl Spence will. And if he do, psh, boy, boy, boy. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, I, I would be highly upset. I'd be highly upset because this all goes back to what I was saying about, about putting pressure on Manny Pacquiao. I said this in my jab session uh, on Thursday. If y'all on, on New Year's Day, or the second day, whatever day it was, go back and listen. I told y'all that while we're sitting here going back and forth about Earl Spencer, Terrence Crawford, why everybody's sitting back letting Manny Pacquiao sit on the belts and, and, and not having to fight nobody. You understand what I'm saying? And and, and I'm telling you, I, I have a, I just got a feeling that Mikey Garcia is going to steal the fight from Earl Spence, and then we're going to – it's going to be uh, – I don't even know, man. And and I got a feeling how it's gonna happen. Just like every, I heard a couple of other people say this too. I got a I got a feeling that Manny Pacquiao will slide on the slide through the back door and go try uh, probably sign a a two fight deal with the zone or something like that. You know what I mean? But if Manny Pacquiao fight with, with the zone. He can kiss that Floyd Mayweather fight goodbye, which is, I hope it ain't even on the shelf anyway. You know what I mean? But just just imagine. Just imagine if, if Pacquiao left the PBC, went to the zone, and uh, fought Mikey Garcia. He went to the zone for a two fight deal. That'd be some shit. Then that'd put Earl Spence in a tough spot. Cause then he he he'd be uh probably looking to fight the winner Danny Garcia or Ivan Red Red Catch or his uh IBF mandatory whatever it is uh I can't think his name but yeah man I don't know how to go out man it's it's so crazy we just don't know we're gonna find out what moves gonna be made you know here. In, here soon, here soon, by uh probably by the next month or two, we really have a clear cut, hopefully, of what's going on. But I twenty twenty might be tricky, man. Might be real tricky in twenty twenty. I don't know. I just got a feeling it's gonna be uh a few uh double dutch and hop hopscotch moves going on, and it's gonna throw throw a lot of people for a loop. But that's all I got, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This your boy JB Trap House Boxing. What you want to subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video always. And also hit that notification icon bell 
So you miss this jab session that I'm going to drop soon, soon. I'll let y'all. Peace.